Today we break history by hitting the land speed for snowboarding. I'm joking, but today we are going to ride the world's first ever electric snowboard. Look at this thing! It's, this is the most Elon Musk snowboard thingy I've ever seen in my entire life. And I'm so excited to go ride this. We're gonna talk about it a bunch and whatnot. But right now we gotta figure out how to get this on a snowmobile. And we gotta get to the area in which we're going to rip. All right, we'll give that a shot. Let's go rip. <laughs> One ninety. Right, my snowmobile overheated. We're loaded up on docks. It means I gotta get towed out there. Not a big deal. We are riding this electric snowboard today, no matter what. All right, let's do it. Power trains right now. Hi guys, we've made it. We have this nice little hard pack groomed run to try this thingy out on. <laughs> Thanks, Michael. <laughs> just kicked me. Okay, so the side rusher Ripple is an electric snowboard that needs a battery. And boy, oh boy, does it have a battery. Thing is pretty big, probably about five pounds, maybe a little bit more. It does have a USB port. And um, this is how we're gonna power this snowboard. So you have to have a backpack. You gotta run this cord from there to here. Hooked in. Like any electric skateboard or vehicle thing, you got a remote. I feel like a test dummy for someone that likes test dummy jetpacks. Like we're on that scale right now, if that makes sense. <laughs> thing can go 30 miles per hour though. Wanna race? Oh, we're racing. Let's go. All right, I'm in. Yeah, I feel like I'm on a snowboard with 50 pounds right on my tail. Wow, I'm so scared. They said hard pack. It felt pretty firm when I was snowboarding. Come on. There we go. We're moving. <laughs> Thank God I got clues because it's going to take us a second to figure this thing out. But we started moving, which was nice. They said ride it on hard pack. This is definitely hard pack, but I think it's more like ride it on cement. The remote turns off every four seconds, which is like the most frustrating part. Catch up, Cody! Oh, there we go. We're going. Woo! It's so hard to steer. And then we hit power. <laughs> this is the silliest thing I think we've ever messed around with on this channel. Hold on, hold on. I mean, it's, it's moving me. Oh, I'm so scared. It like washes out a bit. <laughs> okay, we're getting somewhere, like 30 yards. <laughs> I really thought it would do like average, but it's very, very picky. Okay, so this thing's clearly not working here. So we are going to take it to the parking lot where we should have the hardest packed snow of them all. We'll give her a shot there. Let's uh, unblog her. Uber ski. The best part about the clues is from one board to the next. That easy. Get me out of the sky! <laughs> Pull me right into the jet! Mine will be in the top. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, go, 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 go!
Wanna let go? One, two, three! Some turns today. All right, we're just gonna try it in the parking lot because this is hard pack. We're gonna be zipping around. I cannot express how heavy this thing is, guys. This, this is no joke. All right, let's turn on the shortest last. Oh, dude, it's just going. <laughs> it's just going right now by itself yeah it's just that's all itself well that's not healthy yeah that's mega dangerous she's ready to ride dude she's ready to go ready dude to i don't know if i should get on it again <laughs> right, let's see if this death machine needs to be calibrated press and hold the s button for two seconds <laughs> maybe the remote just got uncalibrated but i don't think it's gonna try and kill us now i'm more nervous now because I, I know it's gonna work and i think it's just gonna run away on me <laughs> here we go i think we are starting to move i don't think you get any more hard pack from the parking lot Woo! <laughs> ah, we're moving now Wow. This thing is so hard to turn. Oh, mama. Your toe? <laughs> the moment i get it going and doing anything this remote turns off on me i don't know why they have it turn off all the time but we were finally cruising i was like okay i think it's like i'm getting a feel for this for a second and then the remote just turns off while i'm riding it's like what? eat that <laughs> all right you tail press it it actually starts a little easier Ah! I right, made a turn. Spun it around. Ah! <laughs> we finally were ripping it, man. Come on. Now, like anything that's new, weird, or whatever, you got to give it time and got to figure it out. I'm figuring out how to get the thing started and moving. I turned a circle, like figuring out how like that burnout turn feels and like you can control it. Learning how to go to edge to edge. I'm kind of getting some some idea. If this remote would stay on, it would be a lot more. Now, obviously, I could have probably gotten a defective remote, but man, is it frustrating when I'm just trying to make a video and I can't even get the basic thing to work. There we go. There's my burnout turn. Just you guys know, I weigh 160 pounds. I don't think this wheel is going to move anyone heavier than me. If you're lighter than me, you might have better luck. Come on. Come on. Remote turned off. <sighs> Look, guys, you can't rush science. Come on. I know you can get me up there. Come There we go. Come on. So it works a lot better coming downhill, obviously, because it's downhill. But you would hope you'd be able to go up this hill super easy. They said don't take it onto a 20 degree pitch or, or higher. I don't think this is more than 20. Moving off the hill. Remote dies. And it's charged. It's not a it's not a not charged thing. I charged it all last night. Now if you were to ride around your neighborhood walking your dog, that's what I see this is good for. 
glorified dog walker. Your winter dog walker. I mean, I'm starting to get it. But then the remote. I literally, literally the moment. I'm like, man, this thing. Okay. We, we could cut. Boom. The remote dies. Ah! Alright guys, before we jump on this thing again, it's not going to have a loose sticker. They're linked in the description. They support the dream. Appreciate you guys doing that. Alright, I'm going to try and rip from here down. <laughs> I was so close and this stupid remote died. Guys, I really wanted this to work. I thought we were going to be the future, you know? I thought this was the future. I thought we were going to be hitting wheel snowboards into park jumps, being able to do 90 pound tail grabs. I wanted this to work so bad. And honestly, it's kind of working. It's, it's mainly the uh, remote that's not working, you know? Like we're getting it to kind of move and it, it really, it only works on this, like the road covered hard packed snow, which I'm sure we're destroying the base of this board because of the rocks, rocks and pebbles and whatnot. And Cyrus sent me this snowboard, by the way. I did not buy it. If you want to buy it, it is linked in the description. If you think this is the raz thing, you've ever seen and you you want to rip it it's linked down below let's get to the car i'll tell you what my thoughts are on we'll get we're gonna get to the car hold on don't stop watching the video see we were getting it we were about to be ripping and the remote turns off all right the ripple by S cyrus or whatever this company's called Thing's kind of a piece of junk, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't have the highest hopes for it, but really, it's more this. This is the biggest piece of junk on the planet. I'm stoked they sent it to me. I'm gonna give it a shot. If they wanna send me a new remote or tell me how to fix the remote, I'll give it another shot. But man, that was an interesting day. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, hit the like button, subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching. Keep evolving, and we'll see you guys tomorrow with another video because it's daily on this channel. We do stuff like this. Daily.